Good morning, guys. Today we are out chucker hunting again. Big shocker. Still a lot of snow on the ground. If you saw in the last episode, there was a lot of new snow. That snow is still hanging around. I don't think the temperature has gotten above freezing in the last few days, so uh, not a lot of snow melt happening. So we're going to stay low today and uh, try and find the areas that have burned off a little bit and uh, see if we can find some birds there. We got Patch. We got King Among Dogs Doyle. So we're ready to head out and try and get some birds. Jordan, there's a bunch of tracks right here going up, so I'm going to go up. Okay, they're on point. Easy to oil. Far away. Oh. Was not expecting that. Good girl, Pat. Well, today was a chucker hunting first for me. I had a shell that that wouldn't go into the chamber after I shot, but I actually had a shell get crushed uh, as it was trying to get pushed back into the chamber. Just some faulty plastic, but again, chuck running first for me. Well, guys, before I turn the camera on, a bird got up back there and swung around here. And I'm pretty sure he landed somewhere around here. He was right there. Well guys, you saw in that last sequence that when I got to the edge of the ledge, I made a sound like a chucker getting up. And I do that from time to time in a situation where the birds might be below me and I don't really want to walk down there because I'm not 100% sure there's birds, but I just want to see if they'll get up. It's got like a 20% success rate on getting birds to fly and a 5% success rate on getting one of those birds that flew. I'm not sure if I'm the only one that does that sort of thing, uh, but let us know in the comments if you guys do that as well. Oh, here's another one. This hill is crazy steep. I had to leave my shotgun at the top. I got Reed's shotgun in my hand while he goes down and tries to find this bird. It's snowy and super slippery, so even if birds get up here, we're not even gonna try to shoot them. We're just gonna try to find this bird that's down. Cause yeah, this hill is crazy steep and, and scary. Well, guys, as I was walking, there's a bird that got up out of the bottom here, and I took a Hail Mary shot. Lo and behold, got him. But he was running, and Doyle just ran and got him. Doyle, over here, dude. Well, guys, like usual, the chucker making us work for him. Birds have sort of been few and far between today. We got into a group of about 10 birds when we right out, right out of the truck. And we've been sort of just picking apart little tiny groups since then. So I don't know, hopefully we're gonna get into some more, but it's been tough sledding so far. Well guys, the action hit me in the finger. And that happens to me 
I don't know, I don't want to say often, but it does happen to me from time to time. I don't know, some days it's worse than others. So one weird thing I do that nobody else does is I pull the trigger when I'm hunting or shooting or whatever with my middle finger. And I get a lot of grief for it from everybody I know that knows that I do that. So I understand that it's weird. I don't know why I don't pull it with my index finger, um, but I end up pulling it with my middle finger. So I end up sort of laying the this finger along the side of the action when then when it comes back it just racks my finger sometimes i don't know what days you know what i do on the days when it does get hit but it doesn't feel good um and you know you start to get a little gun shy after a while but um i suppose i should just take an off season and learn how to shoot with my index finger but i'm very comfortable with the middle finger and i do decently with that so i'm afraid to change There's some real fresh tracks in front of me. I'm gonna like chase him right into Reed. Last time I saw him, he was over there. She's pointing right here. Hey, she's pointing right here. They turned, Patch. Right there. I would have had another one. My gun didn't go back. The thing didn't close. Yeah. She's been busting your finger on it. Oh, good. I did again, too. Oh, my God. Good girl, Patch. Good girl, Patch. Could be a live one. Probably ready. But... I'm not ready, so if it gets up, shoot it. I'm very ready. I hope it's a live one, because that would mean it's a three. Oh, no, girl. I can see it dead right below her. Oh, yeah. Good girl, Patch. That's a good pup. Good girl, Patch. Man, Patch was really birdie and there were tracks everywhere. And I was pretty surprised to see birds just flying over all of a sudden. The chucker hunt turned into a duck shoot real quick. Well guys, that's a wrap for us. Our legs are tired and I think the dogs are ready to go. Thanks for watching the video. If you enjoyed it, please hit the like button. And if you enjoy the channel, please consider subscribing. It really does help us out. Thanks for watching.